Hey, hey, put me on, man. Put me on. The Warriors? Uh, tank, shit. tank shit. Tank shit. Niners? Tank shit. Raiders? Tank shit. You should see my closet. Look, I think I got a Gordon Beard's cap in my hair somewhere. Oh, my God. Because it's tank shit. One time I was in L.A., and they thought I was from Texas. I was mm. so bad. I, I was... Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one. And we're live. What's up, baby? What's up, man? Thank you for coming in, man. We got we got Yonix in here. He's a Willow Glen alum, straight tank from shit. the dub. Yeah. Yeah. Tank shit. Tell me about tank shit. What's tank shit, honestly? It's the tank, man. It's San Jose shit. San Jose Sharks? Uh -huh. That's what it's about, huh? Yeah, yeah. Shark tank shit. When you start tank shit? I just started. It's just a movement. San Jose movement. For real? Yeah. You just rep it? Yeah. Who started it? Sharks. For real? <laughs> yeah. When was all right, when was the first time you heard someone say tank shit? Um, it's, it's just been forever. Damn, because like when I when I think tank shit, I think of you, because I always see you repping the, the I, sweater. I, I just rep it harder. You do. You might as well just claim it. Yeah. You rep that shit pretty hard. It's my baby. It is your baby, huh? Yeah. Like who made that shirt? Me. All right. So he keep it alive. You feel me? Yeah, keeping it alive. All right, keeping me. A hundred percent. So what was it like? What's it like in Willow Glen? What was it like going to Willow Glen? It's cool. I went there for like uh, two two years. All right, where were you going before that or after that? Um, I, no. Nowhere. No. I graduated from the ranch. Um, yeah. What's the ranch? It's like the uh, extended juvie. Oh okay. Yeah. For sure. So you went to Willow Glen freshman sophomore year. Yeah. And then you just graduate from the ranch. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's the spot though. That's the uh, that's the only high school I went to out here. The dub, man. You, dub. you were lost in the dub way back when. Two thousand ten. Back nah, in the day. Uh, that was like oh eight. Mm. Yeah. Were you already rapping at that point? Oh six to eight. Mm, nah. Nah. When did, when did you start rapping? I start. I mean, I kind of like been been fucking with it, but. Like from how? From what age? I would say like around then, but I wasn't like out. I wasn't ex exposing myself out there. I was I was very shy. So. You were just like writing raps and shit. Yeah, just to myself. Were you making you music? Know? Nah, I wasn't nah. doing nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. uh, I recorded my first song probably like 2012, 2011. Mm -hmm. So after high school and shit. Yeah, and you put it out, or you just kept that in the back? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You put it out? Yeah, we put it on YouTube. What, what kind of what kind of response do you get from at least like the local heads? Uh, so one nigga I knew told me uh take it down. He said take it down. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Cause it sucked. What? Well, it probably did. It was your yeah. first song. Did it suck? Yeah. It did. Yeah. You ever you ever make any good music? It's getting there. It's getting there, huh? Slowly. You gotta trust the process. Yeah. Just keep going. Damn. But like, have you ever performed at a show show out here in town? Right? Yeah. Which one? A lot of them. Um, a lot of them. Yeah, we do shows all the time. I'm about to go on tour. Where at? You better go on tour. Yeah, next month. What? With who? Uh, me. I'm the headliner. I'm um, about to bring my boy Maui, Fokey, Maui Daniels. Damn. Where yeah. you going? Where y'all going? Uh, we're gonna hit SoCal. We're gonna pull up in like Fresno, LA, San Diego, and that's the three spots we got locked in so far. Damn. Yeah. Y'all got you got a fan base out there? How what like how did how did we gonna find out? How did the tour come to fruition? Y'all uh, just booked some shit and you just been Yeah, up. yeah. A booking artist hit me up, told me told me he thinks I'm I'm the guy for it, so oh, okay. got my head pumped up, I feel like I could do it. So uh huh. Yeah. I'm gonna pull up. Exactly, you can do Get it. My bro. Feet wet. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Damn. Man. First headline tour. Have you ever opened up on a tour? Have you ever been on tour period? Nah. Damn. Nah, I've I've done some like little shows out of town and shit, but I've never done like the full Tour. You know, pull up every you day gotta, somewhere. You gonna pull up in like a van, little little van or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm trying like that. to get the sprinter van. Uh huh. Little, I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yes. So the first time going on tour, you headline. Yeah. That's some shit, bro. Yeah. That's some shit. A lot of artists, I feel like, uh, like open up for a bigger name to get started. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then kind of. Yeah. Tell them bigger names. Hit me up, man. Oh yeah. You trying to? Who, <laughs> trying to do the big tours who, too? Uh, who do you look up to? Who's someone in the music game that you would like? If you had your pick. Give me three names of like three people that you would want to open up for. Like if you could, you got your pick of anyone. Mm. Who are you gonna open up for? It gotta be some big shit. I'm trying to do some big shit. I said like oh, he dead, bro. Huh? Biggie? No, I said like some big <laughs> like a, like a, like well yeah, like a biggie show too. Uh when he come reincarnated, that'd be nice. Right. But him um, and Pac come back from the Yeah, Cuba, him and, oh, yeah, I wanna do the big and Pac show when they come back from from the afterlife. Mm -hmm. 
the, the no, it's a real shit though. Like, who, who do you look up to, or like, who would you want to open up for right now? Anybody. Who, who got the liveest shows? Is the question. Yeah, Drake got the liveest shows. Then I'm, I'm trying to do a Drake show. I'm trying to be there. Okay. And I'm trying to do that one. Um, you like Drake? You listen to him? Sometimes, not really. Everyone listens to Drake though. Yeah, he's out there. To. You have to. It's yeah. Drake Radio. Yeah, exactly. One of six. Obo Drake Radio. radio. Um, um, more right. for your head That's top, corny so shit. I speak on my name, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, sound radio. Right, that's that's corn. That's my nigga corn shit. Six six six, six 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 six. Um, yeah. Who do I listen? I would say I would say who would I want to perform with? I want to perform with X X X X Temptation. With Young F Stop. Because he goes, his shows go crazy. Whoever whoever fucks with like the crazy ass mosh pit shows, I'm trying to fuck with. Cause mm -hmm. That shit looks live. <laughs> we had this little punk rock show the other day. It was pretty live. Yeah, mosh pits and shit. Yeah. Where was that at? Shit right here off a of, uh, little orchard. Right near Curtin. Hmm. No, not off Little Orchard, but like the back street over there. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know what the name of the venue was? It's a house. Oh, it was a house. Yeah, they could throw parties. So oh, it's like a little spot. Yeah. Okay. Little okay. Mike, little back house, little. It was dope as fuck. Uh, Damn. Little art show. Damn. Art show okay. slash punk punk rock. Damn, bro, that's some shit that we trying to be on. Yeah, you know, we throwing a couple of shows. Yeah, you, you, we, you should have been there. That's yeah. the place you could have been for sure. Yeah, we uh, bounced, okay. we bounced around though. We haven't found like that venue that we could like really yeah. fuck with. I've actually been trying to like, because what happened was <clears throat> this venue that we were at last time. Um, like I thought that we were gonna be able to go back there. I've been calling, haven't gone back to me email, and haven't gone back to me. And today I called and she finally picked up and she's like, we're not trying to have you guys again because. It was a little too wild. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. They would fuck with you over yeah. here. I'll try to get you in touch with them. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'll see if I could. Uh, yeah, so we were kind of scrambling today because we're trying to find a venue for our next place. But yeah. since you've been around here for a while, you've been doing shows mm -hmm. around here for a while, I thought you might know something like that. Exactly yeah. like that. Yeah, I got a pretty good network in San Jose. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of San Jose now. Where are you trying to go? Everywhere. I was in LA this morning. <laughs> this morning? Yeah. When did you get back? Today. This morning. Damn. Yeah. What were you doing out in LA? Just networking. Eating. Eating? Yeah. Fold up for uh, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he said I pulled up for lunch. <laughs> Always eating. Yeah. Who, who, who are some of your, like, uh, like inspiration as rappers here in the Bay Area? Like, people that, uh, examples of people that have made it. Okay. You know what I mean? Cause I, I, like, I like, like, Mag Dre, Too, Too Short, E-40. All the classics. Yeah, all the, cla all the, all the classics that made it, I fuck with them. Um, the new artists, I fuck with them. You feel like uh, who are the new artists, like Sob and shit? Yeah, they doing cool. Um, I was pretty impressed. I seen uh, G Easy had a little store in Oakland at one point. That was pretty dope. I don't know, this is bad. Got the dope era store. That's pretty dope. Um, you know, just the entrepreneurs doing doing. If you if you got the rap popping and then you do more with it mm -hmm. afterwards, you know. Uh, I like that shit. Yeah, that's definitely a trend that's happened. Like, you know, Jay Z is one of the leaders in that. You know, taking it from I'm more than just a rapper. I'm here to make real money. Yeah. And he's trying to get to the billions. He's trying to. Yeah. That's all. He's I'm trying, trying to, to stack. Yeah. I'm trying to flip a billion one day. Yeah. I'm trying to throw a whole billion down and then bounce it back. Yeah, man. Just keep touring. That's yeah. the only way to do it. That's really. I mean, there are many ways to do it, but. Yeah. Yeah. What what would you say is like your favorite moment in your rap career? Like a big, maybe it was a song that you released, or maybe a show that you performed, or maybe even just like having someone that you look up to hear your music. Um, I be honestly, I got a lot of. I be, I be having a lot of moments. I started yeah. writing them down, and then I lost the paper. Ah, but um, hate it. yeah, you know, it, I feel like every day is a new a new moment where it's like, damn. Hell yeah. Yeah. I knew I was supposed to do this shit. Right. You know? Right. Those moments are really what makes it feel like all worth it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I'm just starting to get them a lot now, though, you know. What's happened recently? How how has it changed, like, from 2008 when you made your first rap to, to now? Like, what people... I, I said people... this past year, like, everybody knows me. Like, literally. I, I go to my daughter's school to pick her up, and, like, every kid knows me and runs up on me. Hmm. How like, old is she? Five. She's five? Yeah. All the kindergartners know who you are? Yeah, kindergarten through sixth grade. Damn. Yeah, I get DMs from elementary school kids all day. And like grocery store, or like the mall, anywhere. I hang I hang out at the gas stations a lot too. They're just selling mixtapes so everybody know me from like just pulling oh, up and shit. Okay. How much you sell your mixtapes for? Ten. Ten dollars? Yeah. Show me and you got the you got the uh what's it? Oh, oh yeah. You got, got you got a mixtape on you? Go yeah, ahead and pull it out if you want. No, but stand up real quick. 
Yeah. He's, you know, he got it on him just in case, just you know, someone buy a mixtape. They only got cars. Stop playing, man. Uh, let me see it. I got the mixtape. Speed City and California Hot Boys. California Hot Boys is me and my boy Titus. It got 18 songs on it. 18? Yeah. Uh, it's got original beats, mixtape beats, and some throwbacks from the 90s. We got some like samples on there, some like Eric Badu samples, some Janet mm. Jackson samples. Mm. And then that one's Speed City. That's my solo project produced by Beats by Fly. Mm -hmm. He's a local producer from out here. Is he? Yeah. Uh, you, do you know Miguel Cultura? No. On Instagram? No. That's the name. He changed his name. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's so one thing I, I really... Uh, that's one thing I really appreciate about, appreciate about you though, is that uh, you're really all about the local shit. Yeah, and really with collaborating with that's local tank artists, shit. put tank. That's tank shit. That's tank yeah. shit. You know, that's that's really what tank shit is. is you know, it's just San Jose shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, everything that's San Jose shit is tank shit. Mm -hmm. Like we don't gotta glorify an, anyone from anywhere else. We yeah. we gotta pop yeah. in here. Yeah. I, I I hear a lot of people hating like San Jose's hella dry. Yeah. Or, like nothing's happening out here. But there's a million people in the city. They, they ain't doing Make something out happen, here. right? It's right. a lot going. Yeah. So like, as far as like. How do you want to be remembered? Uh, like legendary. when people think of legendary. Legendary Gary. Yeah, but what are you gonna be legendary for? Thank legendary you. Gary. Yeah. Oh, leg legendary Gary. Hey, you know who the most legendary? For being the hardest hustler. Who? You don't know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. The most, Dow -Wow. most legendary Gary of all time. Yannick Jones. Not Gary V. Anyone? Most yeah, legendary fucking, Gary uh, of all time. Fucking Giannis Spongebob Jones. fucking, Sponge fucking uh, Snail. Yeah, Snail. Spongebob <laughs> Snail, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, they you feel me? Hey, hey trivia, I'll win. Gary. Trivia, yeah. me. On a wall Legendary Gary. Yeah. Ooh, legendary yeah. Gary with the Yandres. That, that's Ooh, that's t-shirt. That, that'll be a hard t-shirt. Gary the cat. Yeah. The cat, the cat snail. The snail. Yeah. <laughs> he was a dog sometimes, too, because he growled sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. Dogs, I heard man. some shit like, uh, like he's actually a dog, or something. I'm talking like about that. he might be. Some myth like the that. most legendary like, I, Gary. I also heard like Rugrats, like the all the Rugrats are legendary. Gary's fucking imaginary friends. Yeah. I think I heard that one. Can I get the drink, please? Yeah. Angelica's dead. Oh, okay, here come the Henny. All right, I need. To, hey, before he gets the Henny, I'm gonna even give two bars with the word Henny. Hey, Mike, no. Here, here. here. Yannick, you ready? It's on the lot. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Three, two, one, and we're live. What's up, baby? What's up, man? Thank you for coming in, man. We got we got Yannick in here. He's a Willow Glen alum, straight tank from shit. the dub. Yeah. Yeah. Tank shit. Tell me about tank shit. What's tank shit, honestly? It's the tank, man. San Jose shit. San Jose sharks. Uh -huh. That's what it's about, huh? Yeah, yeah. Shark tank shit. When you start tank shit? I didn't start it. It's just the movement, San Jose movement. For real? Yeah. You just rep it? Yeah. Who started it? Sharks. For real? <laughs> when was all right, when was the first time you heard someone say tank shit? I don't know. It's, it's just been forever. Damn, because like when I when I think tank shit, I think of you. Because I always see you repping the, the I, sweater. I, I just rep it harder. You do rep, you might as well just claim it. Yeah. You rep that shit it's pretty my, hard. It's my baby. It is your baby, huh? Yeah. Like who made that shirt? Me. All right, so he keep it alive. You feel me? Yeah, keeping it alive. All right, keep it alive. A hundred percent. So what was it like? What's it like in Willow Glen? What was it like going to Willow Glen? It's cool. I went there for like uh, two two years. All right, where were you going before that or after? That? Um, I, no way. No, I graduated from the ranch. Um, yeah. What's the ranch? Like the uh, extended duty. Oh, okay. Yeah. For sure. So you went to what was in freshman sophomore year? Yeah. And then you just graduated from the ranch? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's my spot though. That's the uh, that's the only high school I went to out here. The dub, man. You, dub. you were lost in the dub way back lost in the dub. 2010? Yeah. Back nah, in the day. Uh, that was like 08. Mm. Yeah. Were you already rapping at that point? Oh, 06 to 08. Mm, nah. Nah. When did, when did you start rapping? I, st I mean, I kind of like been, been fucking with it, but... Like from how, from what age? I would say like around then, but I wasn't like out, I wasn't ex exposing myself out there. I was, I was very shy. So. You were just like writing raps and shit? Yeah, just to myself. Were you making you know. music? Nah, mm -hmm. I wasn't nah. doing nothing, nothing. Uh -huh. uh, I recorded my first song probably like 2012, 2011. Mm -hmm. So after high school and shit. Yeah, and you put it out? 
Or you just kept that in the back? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You put it out? Yeah, we put it on YouTube. What, what kind of what kind of response do you get from at least like the local heads? Uh, this one nigga I knew told me uh take it down. He said take it down. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> it sucked. What? Well, it probably did. It was your yeah. first song. Did it suck? Yeah. It did. Yeah. You ever you ever make any good music? It's getting there. It's getting there, huh? Slowly. You gotta trust the process. Yeah. Just keep going. Damn. So like, have you ever performed at a show show out here in town? Right? Yeah. Which one? A lot of them. Um, a lot of them. Yeah, we do shows all the time. I'm about to go on tour. Where at? You're about to go on tour. Yeah, next month. What? With who? Uh, me. I'm the headliner. I'm about to bring my boy Maui, Folky Maui Bangles. Damn. Where yeah. are you going? Where are y'all going? Uh, we're gonna hit SoCal. We're gonna pull up in like Fresno, LA, San Diego, and that's the three spots we got locked in so far. Damn. Yeah. Y'all got you got a fan base out there. How what like how did how did we gonna find out? How did the tour come to fruition? Y'all uh, just book some shit and you just yeah up? yeah a booking artist hit me up told me told me he thinks I'm I'm the guy for it so oh okay got my head pumped up I feel like I can do it so uh huh yeah I'm gonna pull up exactly you can do Get it my bro you got it yeah yeah thank you damn man. first headline tour have you ever opened up on a tour have you ever been on tour period nah damn nah I've, I've done some like little shows out of town and shit but I've never done like the full. Tour. You don't pull up every you day gotta, somewhere. You gonna pull up in like a van, little little van or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm trying like to that. get the sprinter van. Uh huh. Little, I know you should, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So the first time going on tour, you headline. Yeah. That's some shit, bro. Yeah. That's some shit. A lot of artists, I feel like, uh, like open up for a bigger name to get started. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then kind of. Yeah. Tell them bigger names. Hit me up, mm -hmm. man. Oh yeah. yeah. You trying to who, <laughs> trying to do the big tours who, too? Uh, who do you look up to? Who's someone in the music game that you would like if you had your pick? Give me three names of like three people that you would want to open up for. Like if you could, you got your pick of anyone. Mm. Who are you gonna open up for? It gotta be some big shit. I'm trying to do some big shit. I say like. Oh, he dead, bro. Huh? Biggie. No, I said like some big, <laughs> like a, like a, like. Well, yeah, like a Biggie show too. Uh, when he come reincarnated, that'd be nice. Right. But um, come back from the yeah, him and, oh, yeah, I want to do the Big and Pac show when they come back from from the afterlife. Mm -hmm. The, the nah, some real shit though. Like, who, who do you look up to, or like, who would you want to open up for right now? Anybody? Who, who got the liveest shows? Is the question. Yeah, Drake got the liveest shows. Then I'm, I'm trying to do a Drake show. I'm trying to be there. Okay. I'm trying to do that one. Um, you like Drake? You listen to him? Sometimes, not really. Everyone listens to Drake though. Yeah, you kind of He's have out there. To. You have to. It's yeah. Drake Radio. Yeah, exactly. One of six Drake Radio. Sound radio. Um, More right. for your head That's corny so shit. Watch speak on my name, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sound radio. Right, that's that's corn. That's my nigga corn shit. Six, 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 six. Um, yeah. Who do I listen? I would say More I would say like, who would I want to perform it. I want to perform with X, yeah. X, mm -hmm. X, 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 X Temptation. With Young F Stop. Because he goes, his shows go crazy. They do. Whoever whoever fucks with like the crazy ass mosh pit shows, I'm trying to fuck with. Cause mm -hmm. That shit looks like. <laughs> I had this little punk rock show the other day. It was pretty live. Yeah, so. mosh pits and shit. Yeah. Where was that at? Shit right here off a of, uh, little orchard. Right near Curtin. Hmm. No, not off Little Orchard, but like the back street over there. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know what the name of the venue was? It's a house. Oh, it's a house. Yeah, they could throw parties. Oh, oh it's like little spots here. Okay. Little oh, back house, little. It was dope as fuck. Uh, Damn. Little art show. Damn. Art show. Okay. Slash punk, punk rock. Damn, bro, that's some shit that we trying to be on. Yeah, you know, we throwing a couple of shows. Yeah, we, you you, you should have been there. That's yeah. the place you could have been for sure. Yeah, yeah. we uh, bounced okay. we bounced around though. We haven't found like that venue that we could like really yeah. fuck with. I've actually been trying to like because what happened was <clears throat> this venue that we were at last time. Uh, like I thought that we were gonna be able to go back there. I've been calling, haven't gone back to me email, and haven't gone back to me. And today I called and she finally picked up and she's like, "We're not trying to have you guys again because." It was a little too wild. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, they would fuck with you over yeah. here. I'll try to get you in touch with them. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'll see if I could. Yeah. So cause we were kind of scrambling today because we're trying to find a venue for our next place. But yeah. since you've been around here for a while, you've been doing mm -hmm. shows around here for a while. I thought you might know something like that. Exactly yeah. like that. Yeah, I got a pretty good network in San Jose. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of San Jose now. Where are you trying to go? Everywhere. I was in L.A. this morning. <laughs> this morning? Yeah. When did you get back? Today. This morning. Damn. Yeah. What were you doing in L.A.? Just networking. Eating. Eating? Yeah. Fold up for uh, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he said I pulled up for lunch. Yeah. Always eating. Yeah. Who, who, who are some of your, like, uh, like inspiration as rappers here in the Bay Area? Like, people that, uh, examples of people that have made it 
You know what I mean? Cause I, I like I like like Mag Dre, Too Too Short, E Forty. All the classics. Yeah, all the class, all the all the classics that made I fuck with them. Um, the new artists I fuck with them. You feel like uh, who are the new artists? Like S O B and shit. Yeah, they doing cool. Um, I was pretty impressed. I seen uh, G Easy had a little store in Oakland at one point. That was pretty dope. I thought Mr. Fab got the dope era store. That's pretty <laughs> dope. Um, you know, just the entrepreneurs doing doing. If you if you got the rap popping and then you do more with it mm-hmm. afterwards, you know, uh, I like that. Yeah, shit. that's definitely a trend that's happened. Like you know, Jay Z is one of the leaders in that. You know, taking it from I'm more than just a rapper. I'm here to make real money. Yeah. And he's trying to get to the billions. He's trying to. Yeah, that's all. He's I'm trying, trying to stack. Yeah. Trying to flip a billion one day. Yeah. I'm trying to throw a whole billion down and then bounce it back. Yeah, man. Just keep touring. That's yeah. the only way to do it. That's really. I mean, there are many ways to do it, but. Yeah. Yeah. What What would you say is like your favorite moment in your rap career? Like a big, maybe it was a song that you released, or maybe a show that you performed, or maybe even just like having someone that you look up to hear your music. Um. I honestly, I got a lot of. I'll be having a lot of moments. I started yeah. writing them down, and then I lost the paper. Ah. But um. Hate it. Yeah, you know, it, I feel like every day is a new, new, new moment where it's like, damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I knew I was supposed to do this shit. Right. You know? Right. Those moments are really what makes it feel like all worth it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm just starting to get them a lot now, though, you know? What's happened recently? How how has it changed, like, from 2008 when you made your first rap to, to now? Like, what I, people... I said people... this past year, like, everybody knows me. Like, literally. I, I go to my daughter's school to pick her up, and, like, every kid knows me and runs up on me. Hmm. How like, old is she? Five. She's five? Yeah. All the kindergartners know who you are? Yeah, kindergarten through sixth grade. Damn. Yeah, I get DMs from elementary school kids all day. And like grocery store, like in the mall, anywhere. I hang I hang out at the gas stations a lot too. They're just selling mixtapes so everybody know me from like just oh, pulling up okay. and shit. How much you sell your mixtapes for? Ten. Ten dollars? Yeah. Show me and you got the you got the uh what's it? Oh, oh yeah. You got, got you got a mixtape on you? Go yeah, ahead and pull it out if you want. No, but stand up real quick. Yeah, he's, you know, he got it on him just in case, you just know, someone buy a mixtape, they only got cards Stop in the cash. Stop man. Uh, let me see it. I got the mixtape. Speedy City and California Hot Boys. California Hot Boys is me and my boy Titus. We got 18 songs on it. 18? Yeah. Uh, it's got original beats, mixtape beats, and some throwbacks from the 90s. And we got some, like, samples on there, some, like, Eric Badu samples, some Janet mm. Jackson samples. Mm. And then that one's Speed City. That's my solo project produced by Beats by Fly. Mm-hmm. He's a local producer from out here. Is he? Yeah. Uh, you, do you know Miguel Cultura? No. On Instagram? No. That's the name. He changed his name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's Fly. one thing I really... Uh, that's one thing I really appreciate about, appreciate about you, though, is that uh, you're really all about the local shit. Yeah, and really collaborating with that's local artists, shit. put tank. That's tank shit. That's tank you know. shit. You know, that's that's really what tank shit is. Is you know, it's just San Jose shit. So, mm-hmm. you know, everything that's San Jose shit is tank shit. Mm-hmm. Like we don't gotta glorify an, anyone from anywhere else. We yeah. we gotta pop yeah. in here. Yeah. I, I I hear a lot of people hating like San Jose is hella dry. Yeah. Like nothing's happening out here. But there's a million people in the city. They, they ain't doing Make something out happen. Here. Right. It's right. a lot going. Yeah. So like, as far as like. How do you want to be remembered? Uh, like legendary. when people think of legendary. Legendary Gary. Yeah, but what are you gonna be legendary for? Tank legendary Tank. Gary. Yeah. On legend. Legendary Gary. Hey, you know who the most legendary? For being Gary the hardest hustler. Who? You don't know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Bow Wow. Most legendary Gary of all time. Yannick Jones. Not Gary B. Anyone? Most yeah, legendary fucking, Gary uh, of all time. Fucking Giannis Spongebob Jones. fucking Spongebob fucking, uh, fucking Snail. Yeah, Snail. Spongebob Snail, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Hey, look, they gonna you feel me? Hey, trivia, I'll win. Gary. Trivia, yeah. me. On a loss. Legendary Gary. Yeah. Ooh, legendary that, Gary with the Yandre. That, that New that, t-shirt. That would be a hard t-shirt. Gary the cat. Yeah. The cat, the cat Snail. The snail. Yeah. Gary Snail. He was a dog sometimes, too, because he growled sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. Dogs, I heard bro. some shit like, uh, like he's actually a dog, or something. What are you talking like about? That. He some might be. Some myth L- like the that. most legendary like, Gary. I also heard like oh, Rugrats, Gary. like the all the Rugrats are legendary Gary. Gary. He's fucking like, that one. Imaginary he's friends. Friends. Yeah. yeah. Angelica's dead. I think I heard that one. Can I get the drink, please? Yeah. Angelica's dead. Oh, okay. Here come the Hennies. 
Alright, I need to, Hey, before we get to Henny, I'm gonna need to give two bars with the word Henny. Nice. Let's get it. And we're back. <laughs> no, man, I, I honestly, I want to ask you a little bit more about this tank shit, because, like, the first time I seen you, you wearing tank shit, the second time I seen you wearing tank shit. I love it. I see tank shit stickers. I see tank, I know, I'm the same way, though, I'm always repping lit it. So, like, if you really going to be wearing it every single day, it must mean something to you. Yeah. Like, what does tank shit mean to you? San Jose shit, man, it's the, it's the shit coming out the tank. It's my favorite shit. It's the shit. It's everything. It's everything, yeah. It's, a lot lit it is San Jose shit. Lit it is tank shit. shit. I'm gonna wear that all day, every day. Yeah, lit it is tank shit. You, you, watch. I got the, y'all yeah, gave me the bird. white shirt too, so I'm gonna have the yellow stains eventually in my armpits. Mm -hmm. Because you wear it so much. Lit it is tank right. shit. Everything tank San Jose. Shit. Yeah. Is tank shit. Everything San Jose is tank shit. Hmm. If you yeah. sitting at a Starbucks sipping a coffee, nigga, that's some oh, tank shit. Tully and if you King. doing it in San Jose. Yeah. If you don't fuck with tank right. shit, you better move your ass to Modesto. Uh. Period. <laughs> right. And Modesto fucks with it too, so you better go to Alaska or something. <laughs> right. But even they gonna kick your ass out. Yeah. Oh weirdo. So West tank shit. Westmont tank shit. Westmont tank shit. Campbell. Will it win tank shit? Will it blend? Fucking every, tank everything four oh eight tank shit for sure. Right. Everything. Even Greg Wall's tank shit. Cause those hey, are like our little warts. Those are like our warts. You know, like we're a body and those little warts like Those yeah. are our fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, limbs. Talking about yeah. shit, get a Modesto's my or not Modesto's the, the Honestly, right I mean my right hand. There's some legendary things that have happened here in San Jose. San Jose is yeah. the capital of the Silicon Valley. Yeah. Silicon Valley is changing the world. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, we've done a lot here. Right. So, yeah. like, uh, Steve Jobs is tech shit. Yep, Steve Jobs with Chuck. Man, the Apple, right? uh, Apple hey. all that shit. Hey, Google? Google. Tank fucking shit. Facebook. <laughs> what? Twitter, Yahoo? Instagram. Tank Yahoo. Shit. All that shit's tank shit. Exactly. The Warriors? Uh, that tank, so shit. tank shit. Tank shit. Period. Niners? Tank shit. Raiders? Tank oh, shit. Man. You should see my closet. <laughs> Uber? Tank shit. Tank shit. That's all tank shit. Uber started in San Francisco. Gordon Beers too. Gordon Beers? Look, I think I got a Gordon Beers cap in my hair somewhere. Oh my god. Because it's tank shit. Damn, how many people help me find it though? Somewhere there. Damn. Tank shit. I know I got one though. What do you think what do you think San Jose is like really known for? Like this tank shit. Like the people coming out here, you really you feel a way about it. I feel a way about it. Like San Jose's our home. But what do you think other people outside of the bay? So, <laughs> or even so what do you think like San Francisco and then view view the South Bay? Depends depends on the person I would say. It depends on the person. Some people look at it like it's the, probably the greatest thing since since Steve Jobs' birth. You know, <coughs> like because you know that's like their their opportunities coming out here. And then some mm -hmm. people see San Jose like I gotta get out. Yeah, some there's a lot of people like, like I gotta that. Get out. Or some people see it like I got. What the fuck is this? One time I was in LA and they thought I was from Texas. I was mm. so mad. I, I was I felt like you know I gotta get back and really put on for the city because mm. you know, nobody know who we are right now. Right. You know that, that was a while ago, so now we kind of popping. You know? Are we though? Getting there who, slowly. The, who Who is the <laughs> biggest person to come out of San Jose? Uh, Yonex Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, you know, that Dow, well, I'm big Papa. You know, are you? Man. Work, uh, yeah, working on being the greatest that ever Y'all got any names? Who's the biggest person coming out of San Jose? It's not a person, it's a movement that's the biggest thing that came out of San Jose. Tank shit. It's called everything, tank shit. Everything big is, comes from tank shit. From but there's a lot of people that are growing in San Jose. No one's big came out of San Jose yet, in yeah, my eyes. There's no one individual, I would say, but yeah, tank Everyone's shit growing and, and, you know, working hard right now. Duh. The that is true. Yeah. All San Jose shit. Coming you can't, you can't pinpoint it because you see everybody is, you know, on... On their shit, right? Whoever, whoever is doing their job, whoever wakes the, up every morning, right? And, and, and I feel like there's like lots of people out there, like yeah. That. yeah. yeah. Like and what about that. Young Sue? Yup, Young Suey, my Got little, little young Sue, generous popping, mm. he hella popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he, he doing little baby good. boy, mm. young little sixteen year old. How did he get on team? How did he get it though? Grinding. Grinding, he was putting that word, mm. rapping, yeah. Look at this little face, look at this little baby face. Every day on SoundCloud? Yep, yeah, SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, they dropped a video full up, and then they did a lot, they had, you know, they had a game plan, so mm. they promoted it a lot, and then it took off, it took off like they planned it to, so. Mm. And then it, 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 it ain't been the same since. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so you got a game plan? Yeah, yeah, I'm cooking right now. I got I got some projects lined up. Go ahead. Um, I got I got a project everyday struggle with my partner kid finishing up. It's in it's in the uh, the mixing and mastering area right now. We're finishing it up, and then I got another one everyday hustle produced by JT, who I've been working with. He's a producer of Boosie Brackley, so we got a project coming as well. And then we got some more shit on the way. So I'm going crazy. Yeah, so, ready. so uh, what's the plan or what's the vision? Like, say three years from now, where you where you gonna be on tour? Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I mean that's that's gonna be like a just a regular. You know, that's gonna I'm gonna be waking up in three years. 